Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be cleaning it out. I'm just purging all the stuff I don't need. If you guys watched my makeup clean out where we cleaned out all of this stuff, you're back for more. We're gonna clean off this desk, okay? We're gonna clean it out. We're gonna clean out my bathroom. We're gonna clean out my closet, not the clothing, but all like my fragrances, my moisturizers. So this whole video is gonna be a long one. Grab a snack, we're gonna be cleaning out stuff. You guys know how this stuff goes. Subscribe to join the YouTube fam jam and let's get started cleaning it out. Doesn't it feel so good to purge? Even if you don't wanna purge, just watch me do it and it It'll make you feel like you got stuff done. At least that's how it works for me. When I watch other people clean out stuff, I'm like, yes. This is the makeup I use today, so I have it out. But this is basically the makeup I use every day and like my little film setup. I just have too much stuff up here, just kind of built, and I need to like really clean it out, get rid of some stuff. So let's dive right in. You guys have seen this setup before. I also have this cart. I recently cleaned out my makeup brushes. I need to clean this out, which we'll be doing and probably put some palettes back. We're just a mess, okay? We're always a mess. I'm, I wanna try this clear blush, so I'm gonna leave it out, but this little Tarte palette, I, uh, it's time for it to go. It does look like a pretty little soft highlighter palette, but I don't think I'm gonna use it, so I'm gonna let it go. I just keep extra lashes up here. And then here we have my lip liners, which I recently cleaned out and organized them. So I have all my favorite browns, which I know is dramatic, there's a lot, and then some of my favorite reds. So this drawer is good. This is where we do need to move some mascaras out of here. Favorite keeping, keeping Miss Rare Beauty. I'm gonna put this Lancome, the Hello Lashes, this MAC one, MAC Stack, the ABH. I'm literally putting all these away because it's too much. Over here, I just have some brow products, but I have way too many brow freezes over here, so I'm gonna put these away. Also, I don't know why I have dip brow here. I don't use this every day, so. I'm gonna put these brow brushes with my other brow brushes. I like this brow product, but I'm not using it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna put my get rid of stuff in this little basket. All right, that looks much better. Now this drawer. Four concealers, oops. Oh my God, that was so loud. I'm gonna put these away. I'm just liking other concealers right now. <gasps> this goes in my brow drawer. These are ones that I am enjoying right now. These are the ones I use every day right here, the NARS matte, soft matte. So I just keep those up front and center. And then here we just have, oh, this lash glue needs to go. Goodbye. Okay, and then we just have lash glues and then eye primer. So those are good. The liners in this drawer are absurd. So we really need to do some work here. It's like spewing over. keeping these few liners. I just have some black and cream ones here. My favorite black liner from Rare Beauty, a cream one from R.E.M. And then these are my tools. Pause, I am very excited. My thread up order just showed up. So we are about to unbox it real quick and take a look at my new goodies. You know the polka dot packaging. Here we go with our first package. Shout out to Thread Up for sponsoring this portion of today's video. How cute. I this is one of my favorite brands of shoes, Schultz. They make really nice shoes. And how cute are these slides for spring, summer? I love them. I feel like they're gonna go with everything. And it looks like they've been worn like maybe once. So they pretty much look brand new. Love when they always have your packages wrapped nicer than like designer stores. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, this is so, oh my gosh, this still has the tags on it. I did not realize this is still new. Wow. I just thought this top was so pretty. I could wear it with so much. It's a good springtime top. It's originally from Zara and got it on thread up. I also got this little velvety corduroy-esque tank that's purple for spring. And then another one with the tags. Wow, a $90 blazer that someone didn't even wear. I got it for such a good deal. Literally the cutest spring top I've ever seen in my entire life. Are you kidding me? No, don't lay right there. 
Also got this dress from Zara. I thought it was so pretty. I love the colors in it. Next, I got this really cool blazer because it has pink detailing in it and I hadn't really seen anything like this. Got these floral pants, they're loose fit and I thought they were so fun for spring. I just picked up some of these fun like sherberty orange sweatpants. Pretty, I love the color for spring and summer. I also thought this ribbed tank in tan could go with so many different things. It's like a good piece to have. I love the unique one shoulder. Lastly, one of my favorite things I got were more Schultz heels. These heels are so comfortable with you guys because the heel on them is not too crazy. And I don't know, I always have good luck with Schultz. So I got these snake skin heels. These estimate retail for about 200 bucks. I got these for 46.99. This tank top was an estimated retail 32. I got it for 19.99. This Zara top was originally 25 and I got it for 12.99. If you guys don't know what ThreadUp it is, it is the world's largest thrift store online. It makes thrift store shopping so easy. Now they have a new feature that makes it super, super easy to shop. All you guys have to do is click the link in the description box and you guys will see items that I have bought and you can order similar items. So it's so easy to get the outfit inspiration. Don't forget to shop my picks with my link below and use my code Laura Lee for an extra 35% off your first order. This is my main main. This is my main stuff that I use every day. So I need to put a couple items back, I think. I think we're a little overstuffed here, but all this stuff is going. Look how many we are actually putting back. This is my drugstore that's going back. And this is my other stuff that we're putting back in the drawers. We did get rid of a few pencils in there. I just don't need. I think I'm gonna put this back for now, the NC30. This is Chris and Dominique's pink powder, which is so cool. She just dropped this, but I don't use this every day because it's like pinky. I don't think I need all four. I love these so much. I want to keep all, but I'm going to put at least this one back. I'm going to put back pink gas on. I'm also going to put back this highlighter from Mario because I'm using the Rare Beauty ones right now. This one is in Honey. My makeup gets so messy, y'all, because I go crazy when I'm getting ready, but I feel like this looks so much better. And I'm also gonna put these two little Charlotte Silberry palettes here, which I do enjoy using. It looks really messy because I need to put all these through a washer, but this is much better for me. Okay, let me put all this stuff back and then we're gonna go through some of this stuff here. Here we have this little section and I'm going to put my two Lancome foundations, just put them away. I'm also gonna put these two away. I love them, I'm just not like using them every day. And I'm gonna get rid of it. I also bought this and I'm still playing with it, so I wanna keep using it. Plug, of course we have our Laurie Los Angeles glosses up front. I have two of my nude blossoms because it's my favorite color to wear. I wear it every day. We have my She Glam collab. I also use these all the time. And then I just wanna try this, so I try to keep it up front, along with my hair clips right here to pin my hair back. This is some skincare from Peach and Lily. It's called Glass Skin. Skin I like to use under my makeup. This is leaking everywhere, so I just stored it straight up because I do like it. And then you gotta have this. This is the Flawless Filter from Charlotte. I'm gonna add these two serums up here because I like to keep my skincare before my makeup up here. I'm gonna put my Tom Ford Bronzing Primer up here. I feel like that's good there. So next, let's go through this drawer. These are little bitty baby spoolies I like to use for my brows. This just needs to be put away. This is the REM blotting paper, which I never use, so I'm gonna take it out of here. These are my pimple patches. Another product I really don't use is this from REM, but I don't know, maybe I'll put it up here and try it. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm actually gonna put this away. This is a blurring primer, but look how weird it is, guys. Keep sealed for freshness. Look at that primer. What the heck? What the heck is that? I'm gonna put this primer, I'm gonna get rid of it actually. I'm not using it right now. I'm gonna put both of these glosses away. I'm gonna get rid of this. Am I the only person who did not love this? I didn't love it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I bought it myself. We have some box cutters. I use all this stuff for like content. I'm also gonna put this, I'm gonna give it away. I have too many of these. All right, this is what it looks like now. So much better. I actually end up keeping this and putting it under here, but 
glosses, and then just a couple of my tools and products that I use to film. I can actually fit these in here now and I couldn't before, so. There you have it. Okay, it's so much better. We need to put all this stuff away, and then I just recently cleaned these out so they have some space. I have all of my lip glosses that have some tint to them. These are some more glosses that don't. Lipsticks, more lipsticks. They're kind of categorized by color. This is some more glosses in the house. And then some more Charlotte Tilbury and ABH lipsticks. And boom, oh my God, looks so much better. Yes, please. this stuff as good as I could and then these are a couple new products I want to use soon so I have them out or else y'all I'll forget so this section is done I feel like I need to organize this a little bit better and probably organize this as well I was dyeing my hair on TikTok and staying my desk so it's over for me this liner will come off but this hair dye it is over for this desk I eventually want to get a new one but it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day this is my my glam space and I'm so messy. Like what's the point getting a new desk just to ruin it? I don't know. The brushes, I, I recently organized the brushes even though they don't look organized. So this is where we're gonna have to do something about this. These containers are from the container store and I need to clean them. I got this at the Dollar Excuse you. I said the Dollar Tree and I love it for brushes. I actually like it better than these. It doesn't look as cute, but it's just like so good. And my Lara Los Angeles mirrors here. These are sold out. And then like this stuff is organized. I have like my inner and brow brushes here and then blenders back here, if you guys can tell. I put my shorter brushes in here so I could kind of put them up front here and reach them and see them better. And then I put the tall girlies right here so I could put them in the back. And this just makes more sense for me whenever I'm glamming and that way I can see what I have. I would like to ideally organize them by type of brush, but it really doesn't work because the tall ones get mixed in with the short ones and then they go under and I just can't see them. So this looks so much better. I just love makeup brushes. I don't know what it is. Okay, you're probably like, where are your Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes? Well, don't worry because I dedicated this whole entire basket to these brushes. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link them down below. But we have a bundle where you guys can get a really good deal on all of these. They are so super soft and you get a mixture of eyeshadow brushes and face brushes. So I just put them all in there so I would have these. These are the, obviously the brushes I reach for the most, so I want them up front and center. I normally put like my hair dryer right here. Let's go ahead and grab her. This is what I use to do my hair sometimes and then mostly my lashes. And that looks like a million times better. I also have a little mirrors in here as well as my palette. So many people ask me, did I get this or did Laura Los Angeles make it? Cause it has my name on it, but it's by Mario, unfortunately. I love using this to put my foundation on. So I keep that up there. Fabulous. Now let's just organize this a little bit. Actually, I forgot to show you guys. I'm gonna get rid of these. Not bad brushes, I just don't need them. I emptied it out besides my Q-tips. Laid everything out so I could see what it was and I'm gonna get rid of a few things first. I'm gonna get rid of these Florence eye patches just cause I don't need them. I'm gonna get rid of this cause I'm not using it. I love this product, but I'm gonna put it in the go back cause I'm not using it right now. I'm gonna get rid of this because I almost used it all with this little Fenty sunscreen. 
I'm gonna put this Ula Henriksen primer back. Okay, and I think the rest of these girlies can stay. Actually, I this is a sunscreen I wanna get into, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it obsessed. This is Mother Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna put my eye patches back here. These are also all eye patches, and this is the Rare Beauty Blotting Kit. This is my favorite product at all times. I have the tinted one, but I like the one without tint better, but I ended up accidentally buying the one with tint, so now I have two. I will still use them, so they're gonna go up front and center, baby, because these are my babies. I love them. They actually sent me the stick one, which I don't like as much because it's a little bit rubbery and rough on my skin, but I'm definitely gonna use it still. This is the Skedmedica one. I like it, but it burns my eyes. <laughs> You're like, why are you keeping this stuff? I'm still gonna use it. I'm scared I'm gonna run out, so like sunscreen fanatic. Okay, some of my favorite setting sprays are here. You're looking at like some of my favorite favorites. You have Rare, Milk, ABH, Charlotte, and then the big one of ABH. This one's so good if you like dewy skin. I feel like this one doesn't make me too, too dewy. I'm in like a greasy era for myself, so I don't wanna go crazy. I probably should put this back, but I'm gonna keep it up front. I'm gonna put some of my Gucci primer, Keys Luminizer, Moisture Cream from Charlotte. And then these just set better in the back. These are really good moisturizers for under your makeup. I know I love a good moisturizer, and I don't think every single person on the planet needs a primer. I think some people, sure. Y'all remember when I unboxed this? I still haven't used it. It's like a $150 cream. Here's a little refill. But I think some people, sure, not everyone. Capitalism is alive and real, and just remember, like, you don't always have to have every step of makeup in your routine and sometimes you do and sometimes you don't peach and lily has some of the best moisturizer especially for under makeup i want to get into this i just forget i have it because i have so much crap that i'm just like can't keep up with it one of my favorite scents and then here we just have a little hand cream which i should probably use right now as well i love the tatcha hand cream i love tatcha stuff i'm don't get me wrong i just have some cotton balls which you know you girl needs and this looks so much better by the way and we have so much space in here now that we didn't have before so this is fabulous and then down here is like palettes i probably should put some away and then organize them here are the palettes i have in there i don't need two of these in there i guess we actually just sold out of our nudie patootie guys it's gone could be gone forever i think it's officially over this is my baby right here i love this palette oh this is like a brand new one i'm gonna put this one away i'm gonna put this one away i'm gonna put this highlight palette away our whimsical nudes palette gorgeous i was wearing this earlier today i redid my makeup i did my makeup twice our gorgeous nudie too we do have this one available i'm gonna keep it i love this palette because of the arrangement of colors in it it just has so many like handy colors so i always keep it up same with this maria palette it's just like good staples in it Word. I think I'm gonna put it away though. I just have so much stuff. Okay, right now I have to keep like a box of tissues. So this box is almost done. I think I'm just gonna take the tissues out. And look, this is the back side, but look how much better this looks. Oh my God. Welcome to my bathroom. It is day two of us cleaning out. We're gonna clean out these bathroom drawers. It's super echoey in here. I am sorry about all that. Also, if you wanna see this bathroom tour, I will link it down below. We did it on my vlog channel. So if you wanna check it out, it'll be there. There are a lot of drawers in this bathroom. And the thing is, I don't, I don't I don't know why they're all full of product okay not that one but they're all filled with just product 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 and it's so wildly unnecessary how much stuff i have we're gonna clean out we're gonna purge all this stuff are you ready let's get started all right all right this is our first drawer and i am going to be getting rid of both of these actually this one's aluminum free so i'm gonna keep it but definitely getting rid of this because it has aluminum in it getting rid of this these are so expired it's not even funny so i'm gonna get rid of these these are from like three or four years maybe even five six years ago i don't need two of these so i'm gonna give one to aaron which is nice it's just like a lot also again brand sent me the stuff so you know it's kind of like can't use it all don't need this I'm gonna give it to aaron i give a lot of the stuff to aaron so she can take back to college and share it with her roommates yes, i have the day this is the brand day i'm using their a deep mask for my hair right now. So I'm just gonna put this one aside. This is definitely old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Although I do like this brand. I like their products. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I just have too many. I told y'all I'm purging. Now you believe me. Okay, I wanna try this. Oh wait, this is both shower gels. Okay, I don't need two. What's the difference? Oh, the scent. This is the scent I like. I'm just gonna keep one. Keeping, this is one of my favorite products from Ula. So rich, but actually I'm gonna keep this. I might keep this. I need to get rid of it, but I'm gonna keep it. Get rid of this one though, the scrub, because I have too many. Just keep, oh, keeping. So I'm gonna put my scrubs, moisturizers. Just got these in. Can't wait to use them. Keep. Keep. 
I'm gonna get rid of it. Wait to try this. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to. So keeping, and then all my native deodorants, absolutely keeping, but I'm gonna get rid of this Mario Badesco one just because I have too many. We're gonna keep this body wash. <gasps> leaky, leaky. Ew, this is why I have linings in my drawers and this is why we put things on trays. Oh my God, what a mess. And that's why we use trays and lining. Okay, I wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner so bad, but I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it because I think it leaked. It's what leaked everywhere. Or is this the culprit? Which one leaked? Which one of you, I think this one maybe. Okay guys, this is what our drawer looks like now. We have space, we don't need all that other stuff. This just looks so much better, oh my God. Also, this is not pee, I am clean. This is like a marble cleaner. And there were some spots on the floor like that. And I'm trying to see, yes, they're coming up now. And I was letting them soak while I cleaned the drawer. So now I can kind of wipe it up. And so I thought I would just clean while I'm down here. <laughs> Our next drawer, I love these U-shaped custom drawers because the plumbing, so you still get, you know, nice drawer space. is actually kind of creates a nice division. This is just backup skincare, which is, an absurd amount, so baby, we're about to purge. Things stuff in the Target bag so Aaron can go through it. But I am gonna get rid of these microderm rollers because I like my MediQ Booster H now, which is like the non-aggressive poking holes in your face. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Oh my God, all of these sheet masks, they're like, a lot of these are expired for sure. Getting rid of the La Prairie, getting rid of the Charlotte Tilbury, the By Terry, it's so old, it's so old. I'm gonna keep these Lancome ones because I think they're still doable. Getting rid of it, getting rid of it. Why do I have so many of these? Getting rid of it, I think I'm gonna get rid of all these. Ew, that one's so gross, it looks like it busted open. And then I'm gonna get rid of these as well. So all my masks are going goodbye except for these bad boys right here. This is still one of my favorite masks whenever I have breakouts, so I'm just gonna keep one of these. I don't need all of them, so I'll just keep this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I just have too many masks, and then I have two of the same Tatcha masks, so I'm gonna get rid of one, because I just don't need two. I don't need two of the same mask. I also don't need all these little scoops. I like to put my mask on with these instead. Products I do want to keep. I might move them around in storage, but these are just my face folds. I love this one from Charlotte. Kate Somerville, and then oh, this is just a little tea tree oil I like to keep on hand. And then those are some of my masks, and then these are some masks too. So we have exfol exfoliate for the body, exfoliate for the face. This is Chloe Morello's uh, overnight mask. This is my aloe glow mask. Ula Hendrickson Cold Plunge, Tata Harper, and Innisfree, one of my favorite skincare brands. All right, and here's our drawer. It kind of looks similar as when we started, but I promise I took a lot out. This is our trash bag for expired stuff, and this is our giveaway bag. Oh my gosh, this is more backup skincare. Girl, we gotta purge this drawer. We got to black out on the shore because it's too much. Getting rid of this, getting rid of this. I just have too much. It's not that I like hate these brands or anything, or like they did me dirty, but like the products did not do me dirty. I just can't use it all. I have two of these, so I'm gonna get rid of the smaller one. I think this one's smaller. Getting rid of, getting rid of, I'm pretty sure it might be expired. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is just like a revitalizing mist. I'm gonna get rid of just cause, ooh, it's nice. Still gonna get rid of it, I just have too much. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I'm gonna get rid of this. Keeping. I have some Tatcha, some Desi Skin, um, some facial cleansers, some moisturizers. I just love this one from Lancome. Some 
keeping both. A um, couple of Keys products, love Alicia Keys brand. One of my favorite soaps is the Dove Soap. Then we just have some more Charlotte Tilbury, Lancome, Kate Somerville. A lot of the products I keep have a retinol in them because I'm a big user of retinols. AHAs, this one is a retinol. I love Genesifique. And then you can't get rid of Skin Medica. If you know, you know. So there you have it. Our bag is literally overflowing with stuff. This is just like my storage drawer. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, shall we? Erasers, tampons, backup razors. These are my hair towels. These are my hair little wraps to do skincare. Backup wipes, eyeliners, cotton balls. You get it. The drawer is complete. Okay, my hair drawer is like so organized. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not gonna be getting rid of anything. We have hair brushes, rubber bands, bobby pins, mini clips, larger clips, and a couple scrunchies. We are gorgeous in this drawer. Now this is my hair care product drawer. I don't know. This drawer isn't too bad, but you know what, we'll go through it. This product is more so for Erin. It's a curl cream, so I'm gonna give it to her. You guys are like, dang, how much stuff do you give her? And this is what I'm talking about. Like she has, I'm gonna get rid of it. She has so much stuff. She's like, girl, I don't want it. Girl, I got enough. I have two shine sprays, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep my Kenra. I actually didn't love this product in the long run. I like the regular original like glued spray, but this is the wax and I didn't like the texture. Okay, this drawer was super easy. I try to put like texture sprays, hair sprays, and then some of my products I put in my hair after the shower, which is Dream Coat. This is a good blowout cream from IGK. My daily provision leave-in conditioner. This is just my continuous spray water bottle. And then over here, I have a couple of my hair oils, some Olaplex Day, and then I'm also using the Orbe one, it's up there. And then this is a good, this smells so good, but it's really good to hold the edges. And then I also have from insert name here, the edge holder hair mask. This is like a texture taffy. And girl, you know I got this root concealer. So voila, the hair drawer looks so much better. Didn't get rid of a ton, but we did get rid of some. There you go. Okay, this drawer, I just need to organize a little better, but you know, it's just my hair product, like hair tools. This is my husband's drawer and I'm just gonna organize it a little bit because he's a mess. I don't think he uses half of this stuff, but we're gonna clean it up a little bit for him. I think he brushes his teeth with his drawer open. I don't know if you guys' husbands do that, but toothpaste just explodes when he brushes his teeth. But I did all his tools, skincare. I put all the beard stuff in here, and then just some additional products over here. And then he doesn't have a lot of hair products. He has like one or two items, so I just kind of left it. Here you go, babe. I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm getting rid of some of these wipes. This drawer I just organized. It's like backup stuff. And then this drawer I ended up just cleaning. I wiped down everything because it had toothpaste all over it. And just organized it and put all his stuff where he can see it better. I also went back and wiped down absolutely every little thing to get the toothpaste off of it. And then I organized all of his little soaps and stuff up here so he could see them. He, by the way, loves when I do this. Some people are like, don't invade other people's space, but my husband loves this. He gets excited whenever I show him what I did and, or at least he acts excited and yeah. All right, here we have the last drawer and this is my main, main drawer. And stuff I wanna try first, I throw in here. I get real sloppy with a short night. At the end of the day, it just has too much stuff in it. So we're gonna clean it up. 
love and I got like 50 of these in here. I don't know what's going on. We're just gonna straighten it up and probably pull out a few things because it's too much, it's too much. Don't use this, this is like empty. I do have two of these because this one's like almost empty and I wanna use it up and then this one's a little bit more full. This is one of my retinols I've been using recently and it is a pretty light strength, but if I use it like five nights in a row, I start to feel the tingle. This is literally empty, love Miss Ula. I'm getting rid of this because it's empty. Aloe deodorant, I love it, but this stuff is too expensive. So if you like a good one, get the native. I have my native ones downstairs in my beauty room. I'm gonna bring some of them up. This is a retinol that is by Skin Medica. I have to mix it with a moisturizer or else it will burn your skin off. And they make a 1.0, which is double the strength of this one that I cannot even think about using. But this is the 0.5, which is their lower strength. And this is the real deal type of retinol stuff. This is the stuff that's gonna like change your skin. It costs a little bit more, but I still, I have to dilute it. This will literally cook my skin off. So that's why I don't like recommending it without talking about it first, because then someone's gonna go buy it and then put it all over their face and be, you know, feeling pretty raw and burny the next day. You also don't wanna use this and then just fall asleep occluding your face to your pillow because that occlusion is going to create a greater reaction. So you wanna like put it on a bit before your bedtime to let it sink in and that way you're not smashing it to your face. This, this one is also so strong. Anything Dr. Dennis grows, he was like in the medical field. So it's intense, okay? So this is a retinol moisturizer and just using the moisturizer, it's so strong. I have to mix this moisturizer. Like I literally take a little scoop of it and mix it with my other moisturizer and I do not use these together. It's one or the other. You don't wanna layer up retinols unless your skin can handle that. Mine cannot. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, this is expired. I'm pretty sure this might be expired. I need to double check that. These are my neck creams. I really love this stuff from Strivectin. And I also have I just love stuff for the neck and decollete, so I have this stuff. Best exfoliator ever, it's so aggressive, I am obsessed. I talked to you guys about this in one of my recent TikTok videos. I've not tried this, but I want to, so I put it in here. This is my Bubble Glow Serum from Medicube. love that they put an outlet in the shorts. It's so nice to have that. And then this looks so much better. So this is like eye cream paste, bubble glow serum. And I put my device in with all my little different tools. Um, this is serums, some backup moisturizers, some skincare and toothbrush stuff. This is my moisturizers. This space is like awkward. So I like nothing like fits correctly. So I just stack it. And it kind of makes sense to me, even though it may not make sense to a lot of people. I need to move my lip balm because I do use lip balm every single night when I finish my skincare. I need some lip balm. So I'm just gonna put that there. And there you have it. it looks so much better. Guys, we got all this plus two bags filled with stuff that we took out of here. And we are done. We are done. So good whenever you complete a task that you don't want to do you know as for my closet which we are now in i actually cleaned it out the other weekend i was home alone and i wanted to just purge everything so i did however i actually think i'm gonna get rid of two more products this is truly like on the last drop it's pretty much empty so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it this is also something I enjoyed, but it's like down to the last drop. So I'm gonna get rid of it. These are some new Tasha products I've been wanting to try out. I love, love, love body oil. So I'm into this one next. This one I just finished off. Love that one. And now I'm actually gonna finish this one from Ula, which I'm also loving. I just love the way it makes me feel. Some people hate that feeling and some people love it. I love it. So this one's up next. This is their moisturizer. These are some body creams. That's for your face, probably expired, but oh well. And then this is body balm. And then I have some tanning products. Most of these should go in my beauty room, but here we are. I also wanna try this, but I'm scared because I don't wanna be orange. Much better, love that. Okay, this shore is, listen, it's not at its peak. I need to take some hats. I just didn't know where to put these. I don't have a plate. These are the most random hats in the world. I probably organize this better. The problem is I need to put like something with traction so they don't slide or like a divider. They just slide around and that's the real issue. See, I kind of put all these. I have so much more space in this drawer, by the way. This drawer used to be so packed out that it broke and my husband had to put it back together. 
So I have so much less in here now that there's so much space. I just need to get dividers. This is a drawer I often don't remember that I need stuff for, but hopefully I will remember. <laughs> I am a fragrance fanatic, if you can't tell, but this is my tray where you guys have seen this before, but I keep like my most worn. I've been back to this one recently, wearing it a ton backwards. This one is so yummy. A couple of the fragrance I only wear typically if I'm going out at night, because I want it to be a little bit stronger and a little bit more moody. See, Baramani, this one for sure. It's very moody. This one could be day or night, but I only wear it at night for some reason. Libre, this is another nighttime one. Manny got this one for me for my birthday. And then my day ones that I go to, I've been wearing this one a lot during the day. Laid up, it's definitely laid up. My Centel 33, I don't have a ton of that one left. Beach walk, and some of these are more seasonal for me, so it just depends on the time of year. This one's a spring one for me. Like, I don't know if you guys have seasonal fragrances where you like to smell, smell a specific way at time of year, like the by the fireplace and autumn leaves. Like we're definitely only wearing that in the fall. You get me kind of my mix. And are we getting rid of any of these? Absolutely not. These are my lady and this is my lady as well. My girl. Don't forget to check out Thread Up. My link will be in the description box and use my code for 35% off your first order.